A compressed air vehicle CAV is a transport mechanism fueled by tanks of pressurized atmospheric gas and propelled by the release and expansion of the gas within a pneumatic motor. CAVs have found application in torpedoes, locomotives used in digging tunnels, and early prototype submarines. Potential environmental advantages have generated public interest in CAVs as passenger cars, but they have not been competitive due to the low energy density of compressed air and inefficiency of the compression expansion process. Compressed air propulsion may also be incorporated in hybrid systems, such as with battery electric propulsion. This kind of system is called a hybrid pneumatic electric propulsion. Additionally, regenerative braking can also be used in conjunction with this system. Topic: Tanks. The tanks must be designed to safety standards appropriate for a pressure vessel such as ISO 11439. The storage tank may be made of metal or composite materials. The fiber materials are considerably lighter than metals but generally more expensive. Metal tanks can withstand a large number of pressure cycles, but must be checked for corrosion periodically. One company stores air in tanks at 4,500 pounds per square inch about 30 megapascals and hold nearly 3,200 cubic feet around 90 cubic meters of air. The tanks may be refilled at a service station equipped with heat exchangers, or in a few hours at home or in parking lots, plugging the car into the electrical grid via an onboard compressor. The cost of driving such a car is typically projected to be around 75 cents per 100 kilometers, with a complete refill at the tank station at about $3. Compressed air Compressed air has a low energy density. In 300 bars containers, about 0.1 MJ per liter and 0.1 MJ per kilogram is achievable, comparable to the values of electrochemical lead-acid batteries. While batteries can somewhat maintain their voltage throughout their discharge and chemical fuel tanks provide the same power densities from the first to the last liter, the pressure of compressed air tanks falls as air is drawn off. A consumer automobile of conventional size and shape typically consumes 0.3 to 0.5 kilowatt hours, 1.1 to 1.8 megajoules at the drive shaft per mile of use, though unconventional sizes may perform with significantly less. Topic: <laughs> Emission output. Like other non-combustion energy storage technologies, an air vehicle displaces the emission source from the vehicle's tailpipe to the central electrical generating plant. Where low emissions sources are available, net production of pollutants can be reduced. Emission control measures at a central generating plant may be more effective and less costly than treating the emissions of widely dispersed vehicles. Since the compressed air is filtered to protect the compressor machinery, the air discharged has less suspended dust in it, though there may be carryover of lubricants used in the engine. The car works when gas expands. History Compressed air has been used since the 19th century to power mine locomotives and trams in cities such as Paris via a central, city-level, compressed air energy distribution system, and was previously the basis of naval torpedo propulsion. During the construction of the Gotthard Bahn from 1872 to 1882, pneumatic locomotives were used in the construction of the Gotthard Rail Tunnel and other tunnels of the Gotthard Bahn. In 1903, the Liquid Air Company located in London, England manufactured a number of compressed air and liquefied air cars. The major problem with these cars and all compressed air cars is the lack of torque produced by the engines 
and the cost of compressing the air. Since 2010, several companies have started to develop compressed air cars, including hybrid types that also include a petrol driven engine. None has been released to the public, or have been tested by third parties. Topic: Advantages. Compressed air vehicles are comparable in many ways to electric vehicles, but use compressed air to store the energy instead of batteries. Their potential advantages over other vehicles include Much like electrical vehicles, air-powered vehicles would ultimately be powered through the electrical grid. Which makes it easier to focus on reducing pollution from one source, as opposed to the millions of vehicles on the road. Transportation of the fuel would not be required due to drawing power off the electrical grid. This presents significant cost benefits. Pollution created during fuel transportation would be eliminated. Compressed air technology reduces the cost of vehicle production by about 20%, because there is no need to build a cooling system, fuel tank, ignition systems or silencers. The engine can be massively reduced in size. The engine runs on cold or warm air, so can be made of lower strength light weight materials such as aluminium, plastic, low friction Teflon or a combination. Low manufacture and maintenance costs as well as easy maintenance. Compressed air tanks can be disposed of or recycled with less pollution than batteries. Compressed air vehicles are unconstrained by the degradation problems associated with current battery systems. The air tank may be refilled more often and in less time than batteries can be recharged, with refilling rates comparable to liquid fuels. Lighter vehicles cause less damage to roads, resulting in lower maintenance cost. The price of filling air-powered vehicles is significantly cheaper than petrol, diesel or biofuel. If electricity is cheap, then compressing air will also be relatively cheap. Disadvantages <inaudible> 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 The principal disadvantage is the indirect use of energy. Energy is used to compress air, which, in turn, provides the energy to run the motor. Any conversion of energy between forms results in loss. For conventional combustion motor cars, the energy is lost when oil is converted to usable fuel, including drilling, refinement, labor, storage, eventually transportation to the end user. For compressed air cars, energy is lost when electrical energy is converted to compressed air, and when fuel, whether coal, natural gas or nuclear, is burned to drive the electrical generators. When air expands, as it would in the engine, it cools dramatically Charles's law and must be heated to ambient temperature using a heat exchanger similar to the intercooler used for internal combustion engines. The heating is necessary in order to obtain a significant fraction of the theoretical energy output. The heat exchanger can be problematic. While it performs a similar task to the intercooler, the temperature difference between the incoming air and the working gas is smaller. In heating the stored air, the device gets very cold and may ice up in cool, moist climates. Refueling the compressed air container using a home or low-end conventional air compressor may take as long as four hours, while the specialized equipment at service stations may fill the tanks in only three minutes. Tanks get very hot when filled rapidly. Scuba tanks are sometimes immersed in water to cool them down when they are being filled. That would not be possible with tanks in a car and thus it would either take a long time to fill the tanks, or they would have to take less than a full charge, since heat drives up the pressure. However, if well insulated, such as Dewar vacuum flask design, the heat would not have to be lost but put to use when the car was running. Early tests have demonstrated the limited storage capacity of the tanks. The only published test of a vehicle running on compressed air alone was limited to a range of 7.22 kilometers, 4 miles. 
A 2005 study demonstrated that cars running on lithium-ion batteries outperform both compressed air and fuel cell vehicles more than threefold at same speeds. MDI has recently claimed that an air car will be able to travel 140 km miles in urban driving, and have a range of 80 km 50 miles with a top speed of 110 km per hour, 68 miles per hour on highways, when operating on compressed air alone. Possible improvements. Compressed air vehicles operate according to a thermodynamic process because air cools down when expanding and heats up when being compressed. Since it is not practical to use a theoretically ideal process, losses occur and improvements may involve reducing these, e.g., by using large heat exchangers in order to use heat from the ambient air and at the same time provide air cooling in the passenger compartment. At the other end, the heat produced during compression can be stored in water systems, physical or chemical systems and reused later. It may be possible to store compressed air at lower pressure using an absorption material within the tank. Absorption materials like activated carbon, or a metal organic framework is used for storing compressed natural gas at 500 psi instead of 4500 psi, which amounts to a large energy saving. Vehicles <inaudible> 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 Topic: Production cars. Several companies are investigating and producing prototypes, including hybrid compressed air gasoline combustion vehicles. As of August 2017, none of the developers have yet gone into production, although Tata has indicated they will begin selling vehicles from 2020 and MDI's U.S. distributor Zero Pollution Motors says production of the AirPod will commence in Europe in 2018. <laughs> Experimental cars and bikes In 2008, a compressed air and natural gas powered vehicle designed by engineering students at Deakin University in Australia was joint winner of the Ford Motor Company T2 competition to produce a car with a 200 km range and a cost of less than $7,000. Australian company Engineer has produced a number of vehicle types moped, small car, small carrier, go kart, around the rotary compressed air engine created by Andrew. Angelo Di Pietro. The company is seeking partners to utilize its engine, too. A compressed air-powered motorcycle, called the Green Speed Air-Powered Motorcycle was made by Edwin Yi Yuan, based on the Suzuki GP100 and using the Angelo Di Pietro compressed air engine, three mechanical engineering students from San Jose State University, Daniel Mekas, Dennis Scharf and Andrew Merovich, designed and built a bike that runs on compressed air. The total cost of the prototype was under $1,000 and was sponsored by Sunshops on the boardwalk in Santa Cruz, California and No Dig No Ride from Aptos, California. The top speed of the maiden voyage in May 2009 was 23 mph https slash watch question mark v equals nbeki 4 ubc while their design was simple https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark v equals nbeki 4 ubc closing parenthesis comma these three pioneers of compressed air powered vehicles helped pave the way for French automaker Peugeot Citrion to invent a brand new air powered hybrid. The hybrid air system uses compressed air to move the car's wheels when driving under 43 miles per hour. Peugeot says the new hybrid system should get up to 141 miles per gallon of gas. Models should roll out as early as 2016.
http://screen.yahoo.com/hybrid-car-runs-air-01013615.html the head of the project left Peugeot in 2014 and in 2015 the company said it had been unable to find a partner to share the development costs, effectively ending the project. Ku, Rin. Named air compressed three-wheeler vehicle was created by Toyota in 2011. The speciality about this vehicle is it has registered a record-breaking highest speed 129.2 km per hour 80 miles per hour even if it has engine which uses only compressed air. This car was developed by the company's Dream Car Workshop. This car is nicknamed as Sleek Rocket or Pencil-Shaped Rocket. As part of the TV show Planet Mechanics, Jem Stansfield and Dick Strawbridge converted a regular scooter to a compressed air moped. This has been done by equipping the scooter with a compressed air engine and air tank. In 2010, Honda presented the Honda Air concept car at the LA Auto Show. Topic: <laughs> Trains, trams, boats and planes. Compressed air locomotives are a kind of fireless locomotive and have been used in mining and tunnel boring. Various compressed air powered trams were trialed, starting in 1876. In Nantes and Paris, such trams ran in regular service for 30 years. Currently, no water or air vehicles exist that make use of the compressed air engine. Historically, certain torpedoes were propelled by compressed air engines equals equals see also